In this passage, the theme is longing to celebrate, and the opening line is, I thank my God every time I remember you. It's really a pretty sweet sentiment. This passage is really a reflection on joy and gratitude, and from it, we learn that by practicing those sentiments intentionally in our everyday lives, we build the muscle to be more joyful and thankful people. And after all the passages we've learned about in these verses, we get this one last as a reminder that life may be tough, but after all of it, if we come back to this impulse towards joy and to be thankful for the life we've got, that produces life-bearing qualities in our lives for ourselves and for others. There's so many people I can think of, like, as I try to surround myself with people who, like, fill me with joy and gratitude and love that, like, that, that it's contagious. Well, I think there's, like, an ultimate love there. So if there's somebody that I think about who is basically validating that I am deserving of all that love, it would probably be my mother. Um, some of you may think that's an easy one, some of you might not, but I, yeah, I love my mom and that was always her biggest marker, was like, hey, the most important, first, most important piece to all this, whatever we're doing here, is that we love each other and that's worth something and um, yeah, she's good in that way. I think I feel the most joy when I'm feeling the least anxiety because I think there's always a little bit of joy but sometimes other stuff is louder. Meals. <laughs> um, I love sitting and eating with people. I think joy is something I infrequently feel alone and I most often feel in the presence of others. I think it's more complex when I'm with others, so sharing in community and laughter is the time I most frequently feel. What I would think of as joy, which is like a complex happiness, I think. I most feel joy when I'm at summer camp. When I'm like outside with people in nature, I think that joy, like true joy, not just like happiness or something like that, uh, teaches me what things I should be paying close attention to. Because I, I do think that joy, joy illuminates things that are really important in life. Um, and I think we can take life too seriously and joy is a way that we can participate fully with our mind, body, and spirit in life. For me, it feels like a happy pause. Because <laughs> it's important to have good things. <laughs> and I think joy is one of those. It just, it builds uh, the positives. It's a balance. It, joy is important, like all emotions are important. Like, if you were joyful all the time, that would suck. <laughs> I mean, I just don't think it'd be very authentic. Or maybe I just haven't seen that. I don't know. But, like, I think it's really important to feel joyful because when you're sad, then you can remember that you can feel that and that we go through cycles of feeling different things and it's really special and sacred when we get to feel joy. Gratitude is important. Also, the expressing of gratitude is important because sometimes you can be grateful for things and if you don't tell anyone that, then they're not gonna know. Um, 
and I think it's a way to show kindness to other people. Personally, I think that going over the things that I, I'm grateful for, which is something I try to do almost every day, um, is really grounding and also really helps just kind of remind me that, that I'm loved and there are good things, um, no matter how stressed out or upset or tired I am, like there's, there's almost always something um, that was joyful or, or made me feel good in a day no matter how big or small. And so I think that reminding myself and creating space to be grateful, uh, yeah, is really, really grounding and, and centering for me. The way our brains work is that we train our brain to use certain pathways more than others. So um, by making gratitude a practice, we are really practicing, noticing, and training our brains to see the things in the world that make it better. And so that's a lot of what I think about when I think about gratitude is that I'm training the synapses in my brain to fire and to recognize that there is a lot in this world that is good and positive. The way we do that is to practice it regularly and to teach our brains to pay attention to it. Gratitude is important because I feel like it's often hard for us to remember to remember to be thankful because we like sometimes just go through the motions of something and it becomes natural and we don't think about we don't think about um, like where it came from or like who like helped us with it. Uh, gratitude is important because sometimes people don't know how much they mean to you and if you don't have moments where you can thank them for the impact that they've had on you, then, um, I don't know, you might not never know how good of a person they are. And like, what a shame, you know? <laughs> <laughs> don't they deserve that? Don't they deserve, you know, because like what if they don't think they are? Ugh, that'd be a travesty. So, thank people for being here. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Mostly I just pray, please keep them safe and healthy. I added the healthy part once COVID started being a thing. <laughs> because it's scary. That they can find their own ways to experience joy um, and have, have a lot to, to feel grateful for. Uh, and that they all feel loved and, and seen and heard and cared for and are healthy. There's a lot of things, a long list. <laughs> My prayer for the people I love the most is that they are present with their joys and their pains, um, that they're empathetic to those around them and they allow that to change them. And I hope that I can be that as well. My prayer, my closest loved ones is to remember that you are loved and that you are never alone. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the ability to think about those that I love. Please look over my mom, my dad, and my brother, all my loved ones as they get ready this weekend for a family trip that I can't be part of. Um, please look over my friends and um, ones that are near me in close proximity and the ones I love pretty far out. Um, please watch out for all the people that are um, working here and are getting home safe. It's raining today. Thank you so much for being with us and um, look over them as we 
get through the fall. Uh, in your name we pray. Thank you. I love you all now. What are you grateful for? What thing in your life have you not been paying close enough attention to that deserves your joy and gratitude? What is one way you can express gratitude each day to a loved one?